Hey, babe, yep. you wanna do something absolutely dirty tonight? How dirty? Let's get past some droids. <laughs> That's coming up. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian. And I'm Krissa. And welcome to the Smuggler's Room. This week, these crazy geeks are scaling things down. That's right, we're going to kit bash tiny little droids. Yep, we were invited by our friend over at Boy Lai Hobby Time, along with a lot of other makers, to kit bash droids out of random parts found all over the shop. So, if you watch all the way to the end of our video, you'll catch every single one of those droids. Yes, that's enough talk. Let's get going. <laughs> This is a kit bashing challenge. So pulling together failed 3D print parts, cake screw containers, and all other bits and pieces and bashing them together is the best part of this build. Truly building something out of nothing. I also want to mention that having sheets of styrene on hand is perfect for this sort of thing. You don't need fancy tools, just a straight edge, a razor knife, and some glue. Brian had an old microphone laying around the shop and I looked at it and loved the grooves that could be the sides of a droid body. And my brain that day said, turn it on its side. Now we use a lot of different types of adhesive in the shop, primarily CA glue. But when working with metal, like the hard drive motors and the brackets, JB Quick Weld is a great choice. It's basically a two-part epoxy that is a cold weld for things like metal. Yeah, these two 3D printed barrels fitting on the hard drive motors was totally unplanned. Just one of those happy little coincidences life throws at you. I scored a few lines in the styrene to give the base some texture. This way the parts don't look like they're just sitting on a clean base. Oh, and also, the sprues from your model kit parts, don't throw those out. They make great pipes and structural support features. Yeah, I overused the Weld On 3 adhesive and melted the plastic parts. A little goes a long way, my friends. If you pick yourself up a nibbler and use it with styrene, you can add some quick details. We'll leave a link below. Of course you saw the juice lid coming, right? Okay, now's the best part. All the random junk 
and boom, a little primer makes the magic happen. Everything now looks like it belongs. love this trick to spray paint itty bitty little pieces. Just use some double sided tape to secure them and spray away. For my sweeper droid, we connected a 12 volt LED to a small switch and finally to a 9 volt battery. Super simple. Painting and weathering for me is where I get stressed. I broke out of my comfort zone with this and I used a bit of color. I also mixed up a black wash and then when that was dry, I went in with some burnt umber oil paint to add another layer. And finally, I gave it all a dusting with some dry brush bone white. I will say that painting miniatures or scale models is hard for me. Keeping a steady hand and using small brushes is a challenge. I'll also say I loved it. I like these kinds of projects because they make you think outside of the box to find parts and pieces for your build. This is a straw cleaning brush. Here at Smuggler's Room, y'all know we like to give a finishing touch with custom decals made with our Cricut machine. Galaxy's Edge, they have Coca-Cola droids. Well, we've been joking about Fat Bantha Beer around here. So naturally, my droid is a Fat Bantha Beer delivery droid, bringing you fresh kegs of Fat Bantha wherever the thirst finds you. Chris and I totally loved this project. We think you should try one too. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and definitely check all the links in the description below to all the other makers that kit bashed droids today. Let's show them some droids. Let's do it. Hope you all enjoyed this today and that you get out there and build something out of nothing. This week, these crazy geeks are doing something. 
it's going to be fun. <laughs>